Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Today I am unbagging something from craftsyapp.com. This one is very different from what I'm used to doing. It is the first partial that I've tried, which means the whole canvas isn't covered in drills and it also uses special drills. So it's not just your normal square or round drills. They are special shapes and uh, I'm looking forward to trying this. It's going to be something very different for me. So this is the, the bag that it came in. Uh, not in a box, so it's an unbagging. So we'll just get straight onto this. So this is the, the first uh, partial I've ever done and also the first time I've tried special drills. So just get that out of the way. Um, so this is all new to me, I'm not really sure what to expect. So this is the actual design, it's a 40 by 50. and get this rustly part over with. There we go. So I think before I have a look at it, um, we'll have a look at what you get with it. So here we go, the goodie bag, um, green tray, pink pen, and small square of wax. Uh, also got some baggies in there as well. So just uh, two bags, small square of wax. Um, this will be plenty because most of this doesn't have any drills on it and the standard pink pen and then the drills this is going to be this is the most interesting part for me because just checking I've got them all and um, because I've never done anything like this before so you can see uh, a lot bigger than normal So a lot of variation here. Uh, got these very very sparkly drills. Then we've got some red ones, some gold, some blue. So some green. So I noticed that the base of them is silver, and then you can see the actual drill color. And some purple. These are actually like little balls and reds, hmm, pretty cool ones. Mega drills. To give you an idea, um, I've got my, my tray here with my defective drills that from the one that I'm working on at the moment, but this is a normal size drill, square, so uh, a lot bigger. Very shiny. Seems to be no matter what way I turn it, it's the wrong way. 
these are cool let me see the way the color changes as light hits it it's like green to purple that's going to be really interesting to see when it's finished how the colors change as you walk past and some uh, really big ones Teardrop shaped ones, smaller. Really nice colours, really, uh, really like them. Pretty cool. You can see how those red ones go sort of gold to red. Depends how the light hits them. I like I like these. Um, you see the blue, green, yellow. They're nice. I like them. Pretty cool. So as I said, never done anything like this before. So totally new for me. So this is a forty by fifty. And clear cover anybody that's watched my video about covers uh, knows I hate clear covers so I'll be changing that pretty quickly but it's because it's poured glue um, the plus side is definitely better than the minus it means that you don't get any air bubbles or anything so the glue is flat and that is more important than me complaining about this stuff. Um, there is an easy fix for this. You can just change it for, for uh, release paper, which uh, I spoke about in another video. But the actual canvas uh, is fine. Um, this is so weird for me to, uh, to be doing this because it's so different from what I'm used to. So we have like uh, these blue dots will be one. So I need to place the gems on that, and then we've got these ones. So um, a lot of the canvas doesn't have anything on it, and it actually has a, a print of a frame around it. So I think what I might try with this one is. Um, just mounting it on uh, two pieces of wood, one at the top, one at the bottom, and then hang it on the wall so it looks as if it's a frame. Um, the the parts here don't have any glue. Uh, the only parts that have glue is where the actual drills go, so you don't have to worry about um, anything sticking to this, which is uh, a novelty for me because normally everything is covered over all the time. So, as you can see, it's an owl with its wings spread and a dream catcher in the centre. So, I can see straight away that the, the big plus for this is that it doesn't take a long time to do. Um, and it's a 40 by 50. If you were doing this as a normal diamond painting, that would take quite a bit of time to do a 40 by 50 um, and because it's just the special drills there are only 15 different drills so this is the key and uh, you just go by like the blue there is number 10 or so so number 10 is that so we we'll go back to the crinkly stuff. Is these number ten? So obviously these don't relate to DMC or anything like that because they aren't um, normal drills; they're special drills. But yeah, I think that's going to look really cool. Very different from anything that I've done. So should be a nice quick one. Um, obviously I'm going to have to put it underneath something for a while to flatten it out so that the canvas is flat 
but that isn't a problem. Very, uh, very different from anything else I've done. It's definitely going to stand out. So this is maybe something for somebody who's just thinking about diamond painting but doesn't know if they have the patience. Um, you can do something pretty big, doesn't have a lot of colours. Um, very easy to read. Uh, a nice, easy project. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm looking forward to this one. I think this is going to look pretty cool. So, um, yeah, as I said, it came from uh, craftsyart.com and I'll be adding a link in the description. So that is my first partial and special drills at the same time, so got everything going on there. Um, it's really nice, I like the design, it's very clean. Um, I've never done a partial before, I need to get used to the fact that not all of the surface is sticky. Um, because normally I, I cover up everything uh, all the time to avoid anything sticking to the glue. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get this one flattened out and um, I'll come back and do another little video. We can have a look at the completed thing. I would like to do a video and get some light on it. Um, maybe instead of sitting in this chair, I might actually stand up and do some filming um, so I can move the camera and we can see how the light catches these special drills. Um, just from looking at them in the bag, uh, they look really cool. I, I like the way they change colour. Uh, and it's, it's, it's not subtle, it's, it's, it's very obvious. Uh, they go from like green to blue to gold to red. Uh, I think that's going to look uh, pretty spectacular when it's finished. So, thanks for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe tap the notification button and uh, I'll catch you again. In the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.